Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct fit intercooler for the BMW 335i. Some of the great things about this intercooler is its bar and plate construction and cast end tanks. As well as for you BMW owners out there, there is no cutting necessary to make this fit. Tools needed to install the direct fit intercooler for the BMW 335i are breaker bar, long flathead screwdriver, short flathead screwdriver, pick tool, quarter drive ratchet, extension, 8 millimeter socket, and T25 Torx bit. A little bit of oil. Installation time is about an hour and is a 2 out of 5 on the difficulty level. First thing we're going to do on this BMW is we're going to jack it up and securely place it on jack stands. Go to the trunk, remove the panel on the right hand side, and disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Next, remove all the hardware from the lower splash shield and then remove the splash shield. Next, loosen the intercooler pipes from the intercooler. To do this, you're going to go ahead and pull down on the connection tab and then push back on the pipe a little bit. Next, twist the quick connects from the front shroud to the inner core. Next, remove the two T25 screws from both sides of the inner core. Okay, next, remove the inner core. All right, guys, now that we have the stock inner core out of this 335, let's take a look at it compared to the Mishimoto. As you can see on the stock unit, it uses quick disconnect fittings. We've actually carried over that same design into the Mishimoto to make it for a painless and cut-free installation. Most other companies have you trim out this front bumper, not necessary on the Mishimoto. Also, the Mishimoto uses cast end tank design, whereas the factory inner core uses plastic end tanks that are crimped onto an aluminum core. This, over time, is going to become brittle and possibly crack. Also, under high boost, it could pop off on you. Before we put the Mishimoto intercooler up into this 335, we're going to wipe down the CNC fittings that are on the ends of the intercooler pipes. It's, you know, get off any dirt and debris that's built up over time where they've sat in the factory intercooler. And then we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of oil and just lube up the O-ring for an easier installation of our intercooler. The only thing we have to do before we put this intercooler in is we're going to swap over the factory retaining clips and put them onto the Mishimoto intercooler. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the inner core into this car. As you're putting it up, don't be so much worried about lining up where the bolt holes are, but at first, lining the CNC inlets on the inner core pipes into the CNC fittings that are on the inner core. Okay, now that the inner core is secured in place, we're going to go ahead and push on the little CNC fittings that are on the inner core pipes into place and until you hear a snapping sound, and that'll tell you that the inlets are secured into the CNC fittings. Next step, reinstall the bottom splash shield. Okay, that concludes the installation for the direct fit inner core for the BMW 335i. Go take your car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.